Alrighty, hi guys. I'm going to run through the notepad activity, how to create that today. I'm going to do it for InDesign first, and then I'll do it again for a different video for Illustrator, because honestly you can use either. Um, remember, I'm trying to find my clicker here. There we go. Uh, there are some examples at the top, the learning goal, uh, the learning target, so what you can do, what you will do, what you should do, I guess. Uh, the brief is where the requirements are, so four notepads, one designed for a teacher, parent, or guardian, and then three of your choice for you or whoever you want them for. Um, the idea of the one for somebody else is so that then you can work with a client, essentially, and uh, create what it is that they want, make changes, and maybe talk to them about what they want on theirs, uh, what have you. Gifts are a little bit different. Those can be one of the other three, but this one is meant to work with someone else to get them the product that they want. Each pad should have a graphic and a text. One of them, at least, should have a watermark, which means um, that it's a little bit um, uh, more uh, more see-through. So, yeah. And one notepad has to have lines on it, at least one. They all can, doesn't matter, um, but at least one will have that. So you're going to use that. You're going to make yourself a, a folder to keep all these, your documents in and your pictures and graphics and whatever um, in your OneDrive graphics folder. You'll make one for Notepad and you'll save everything there. You're going to do an investigation. You're going to look up a Notepad so that you can try to get some inspiration for what it is that you want to make. You'll put those in your um, portfolio as well as your thumbnail sketches. The procedure is here for InDesign. I will work one up also for Illustrator when I put the when I put the video in there. So you can use either. It truly doesn't matter to me. Um, some people will never put InDesign on their computer. So if you don't intend to do the calendar, the calendar has to be done in InDesign. Um, if you don't, if you're not going to do the calendar, you may not even need to put InDesign on your computer, which is why I'm offering for both. So, um, so this will walk you through how to do that, um, setting up guides, what have you, and that's what I'm going to show you guys in a minute. Any revisions, remember to save that as a as an InDesign file, so that, that way we can make any re revisions. Um, when we go to print, we'll actually print it as a PDF, um, so you'll save it that way as well. Oops, I have two of those. Whoopsie, I better fix that. Um, concept presentation, so then the production, so you actually producing the notepads. Um, we'll print them, you'll cut them, you'll um, put the padding glue on the top. You'll cut them apart into um, four individual notepads. And the final presentation. So you'll turn that in with your portfolio into Canvas. And then here's some student examples of notepads. Alrighty, here we go. I'm going to open InDesign as well as show you the folder that I have set up for my notepads. Um, and then I also wanted to show you while that's opening in our Teams folder, which this may not be your exact Teams folder, but there will be one similar. I have under um, our class, under Files, where you guys um, save your other stuff, there's one that says East High Imagery. If I click on that, these are um, some of the some of the, the clip arts and what have you, the, the graphics for that we use for school. You can't see them, but if you click up here in All Documents, you can click Tiles. And then you can see the different um, options that we have. Oops, I'm trying to grab that little slidey bar. Sometimes it's hard to get. There we go, the little slidey bar. So I can download something from here that maybe I want to use um, on my notepad. So for myself, I think I'm going to, I don't know, do this one, I suppose. So I'm going to click it. I'm going to download it. And then it should pop up here in my downloads. Um, and then I'll be able to use that. So I can take that and I can actually put it into my um, file here. So I'm going to go to downloads. I'm going to open it in a new window. And then I'm just going to drag it and drop it in there. So now it's in there ready for me to roll with when I'm ready to roll with it. So, all right, back to InDesign. So one of the first things you need to do is you need to go in um, and change the document to inches. So we're going to go to edit, preferences, all the way at the bottom, and then units and increments. No, units of measure. Where is that at? Unless they've changed this, we'll try that. Yep, here it is. Units and increments, not units of measurement. We're going to change it from picas to inches because 
like pikas are, yeah, they're funky. So we're going to do that. Do that before you make your document. And then you're going to make a new file. Oops. New document is fine because it's just a one pager. From here, we're going to have eight and a half by 11 and we've got it a uh, portrait, not landscape. Unless you want your notepads to be long and skinny. Uh, most people don't. Just one page is fine. Our margins, we, oh wait, we wanted those at a quarter. Help if I could find a quarter here to go. They're linked, so they all change at the same time. We can click on preview and it will show us in the background what that looks like. So quarter inch um, margins and we're gonna click OK, create. So now we have our document. From here, we're also going to put in um, guides across the middle so that we have four equal parts. Okay, so for these, we're going to use our guides tool. So if I go to layout, create guides, I'm going to slide this over so you can see, and we're going to do columns and rows. So rows go across, right? So if I click my preview, and I do two rows. See how now those goes those go across. If I click columns, those are the up and down. So if you think about the columns in front of our amazing building out front by the big steps, the columns go up and down. So this column is going to go up and down this way. Okay. Now here's the deal. This apparently is the default. We're going to change this. We have a quarter inch here and a quarter inch here, which means we want a quarter inch here and a quarter inch here. But if I just do a quarter inch. Oops, if I just do a quarter inch, then it gives me the quarter, but it doesn't give me the quarter for the other side. So I need to double that. So I'm gonna make it at 50, at half. So because we're gonna cut right down here when we cut these apart and right down here when we cut these apart. So if you imagine there's a cut line right here, that's our quarter for here and the bottom is our quarter for here. So that's why we're gonna do that. Alrighty. Press OK, and then from here we can um, start building our document. I am going to stop this just so that this is a build your page um, document, and then I'm going to come back in and show you how to actually put something together um, for your design. So thanks for watching. Bye.